I really wanted to be live. There's so much content because I wasn't live in the past a couple of days over the weekend. I wanted to do long lives, two hour lives over the weekend. Maybe most probably I would do it uh, the upcoming weekend. Uh, but I, I was not feeling well. But right now we have so much content that we're going to stay. We, we have to talk about the World Health Organization and what Trump wants to do. First, we're going to be addressing Dr. Tedros. And we're going to be addressing something that Dr. Tedros said, which is quite uh, that they, they never forced anybody. They never forced anybody to do anything. He said the uh, World Health Organization never imposed anything to nobody during the pandemic. Let's see. Um, let's watch him. Let's watch him saying this in his own words, his own voice. WHO did not impose anything on anyone during the COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> he said that. No, maybe, all right, maybe the WHO did not. But governments advised and pushed and, well, you know, I, I would not say that manipulated by WHO because the governments wanted to do this. They wanted to do it. They pushed this onto so many people. Don't get me started with the details. Not lockdowns, not mask mandates, not vaccine mandates. It's the, 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 the level of hypocrisy is real. The level of hypocrisy is real. I, I, I wish that, oh, maybe there was a comment out of context. No, he is saying it literally. The WHO did not push any of this. We don't have the power to do that. We don't want it. And we're not trying to get it. No, but you, let's say that you suggested it and all this criminal governments followed suit. Our job is to support governments with evidence-based guidance. Evidence-based guidance. How that evidence-based guidance went with the masks? That's my question. Advice and when needed supplies to help them protect their people. Well, one thing I know is this, if you if you were an investor in any company that made masks, you made a killing. Uh, sorry for the word, no pun intended. Breaking Trump will terminate relationship with the WHO. World Health Organization has become nothing more than a corrupt globalist scam paid for by the United States, but owned and controlled by China. China, remember remember the debate? I think it was the debate with Biden. Every time Trump uh, says China, we're going to ha have a shot. When the China virus reached our shores three years ago, the World Health Organization disgracefully covered the tracks of the Chinese Communist Party every single step of the way. Well, you wrote that, but Anthony Fauci, how, how is Anthony Fauci a free man? That, that guy should be behind bars. For this reason, it was my great honor to terminate America's relationship with the World Health Organization. The United States was paying the World Health Organization almost $500 million a year. When I dropped out, I took it out of there. And for 330 million people, even though China was paying only $40 million for 1.4 billion people. Because you know how, how these things work. Corruption. So we had 330, they have 1.4, and we're paying more than 10 times the amount. That's typical for the United States because they don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> Unfortunately, crooked Joe Biden foolishly re-entered the World Health Organization at the full price and without any negotiations or reforms. You, I, I, I need to, to try to put in perspective all the money that taxpayers have been have paid for all the nonsense and all the wars in the world that could have been prevented. And all the money has been bled out of America. It, all that could have been done with that money and th those resources. And now Biden is pushing to bypass the United States Senate to enter a pandemic treaty that would surrender American sovereignty to the World Health Organization, again, controlled by China, the draft treaty would require the United States to send vast quantities of medical supplies to 
other countries in the event of another pandemic, and it would push aggressive censorship of free speech on issues of public health, just like they censored the truth about the Wuhan lab, which I said that's where it came from, remember. Yeah, it, it came from the Wuhan lab. And remember who was, um, you know, pushing this experiment, Dr. Fauci? Under the next Trump administration, that treaty will be immediately terminated. I would not allow public health to be used as a pretext to advance the march of global government. That's what they're doing, globalists. The United States will withdraw from the corrupt World Health Organization, which, in light of its utter failure on COVID, they had a tremendous disaster on COVID. That was a disaster. I have, I have no words. I, I really hope that humanity learned the lesson. I, of course, there's a, a part of the population that never really recover for, from that. But I'm pretty sure that there's a huge chunk, the majority of the population would not tolerate this to happen again, to be, uh, to, 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 uh, for this to happen again. This is my sincere, sincere hope. Deserves to be completely abolished and replaced. Then I will work to forge a new coalition of nations that are strongly committed to protecting health while also upholding sovereignty and freedom. I want to thank you very much, but I also want to say this. I could have renegotiated the deal. I could have gone into the World Health Organization for $25 million. Biden didn't take that deal. He's paying almost $500 million. They of course, if you are uh, sending uh, medical supplies to other countries, it means that you have uh, business with uh, the, uh, the companies that make those uh, medical supplies that benefits uh, in the end, benefits people. You know, every everybody makes a business out of anything, and the idea is to well, you use use that money, use those resources to benefit the United States, not uh, not uh, ple pledge this uh, allegiance to a corrupt organization. We're so anxious to get the United States back after I terminated the agreement. They were so anxious to get it back that they offered me a deal, 25 to $30 million. And I said, no, I'll wait. Could have gotten it for less, but I didn't want less at that point. We were paying almost $500 million. Could have done it for 25 to 30. Biden took the 500, almost the $500 million deal. Yeah, you can imagine. So sometimes you, you, you know that we joke about Biden in this, uh, in this show, but uh, it's uh, Biden has done so many, so many awful things worldwide, not only for the United States, that it's, it's harsh not to judge the guy. We can make jokes, we can make memes, but I know that history will judge him the right way. Now, now we have this. We were talking.